Hello YouTubers, this is Morongo TV, ready once again to give you your dose of motivation and growth. We have an interesting topic for today, as we will be talking about how certain psychological factors into our relationship with other people. Influence is a strong thing to have, and some of us may want the power to influence others, but find that we come up short in that regard. Luckily for us, understand some basic psychological principles can actually help us influence others, which in return means helping others as well. Sound good enough for you? Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get updated with our videos. Today's video is titled, How Psychology Can Influence Others. Are you ready? Well, let's get started. Let's start off by revisiting an old school lesson and talk about psychology. What is psychology? Psychology is the science of mind and behavior. It involves the study of the conscious and subconscious mind and is one of the most sought-out academic disciplines in the world. People who study this discipline, psychologists, psychiatrists, etc., usually explore the mental process and behaviors of individuals. These involve but are not limited to perception, intelligence, emotion, motivation, personality. And a big factor of these mental processes are the relationships individuals have with one another, which is the driving force of our topic today. And with psychology and relationships comes another factor that we will discuss. Influence To keep things short and sweet, influence is defined as the capacity to have an effect on someone's character, development, or behavior in regards to a certain social environment not just limited to a person, but include some things as well, and even the effect itself. But our focus will be on other people. There are many known examples for influence, but for our video today, it will be focused more on social influence, and to be even more specific, the relationship of psychology and influencing other people. We weren't holding back when we said a while ago that this video was going to be about relationships. So, let's get to the big question, how can psychology influence others? Well, the following things that we will be discussing will give you a certain perspective or flavor that you could also practice and see just for yourself how effective the things are going to be. Please be reminded that the following things we will be sharing about are intended to influence others in positive ways. Why we want to influence others in positive ways? Well, maybe because we believe in basic human decency. With that out of our way, here are a couple of psychological factors to consider when influencing others. Flattery Remember the saying, flattery won't get you anywhere? While in some cases, that could be true. Psychology definitely makes a resounding argument to that statement. The University of Leicester dedicated some research and found out some outstanding details that help explain why flattery could work. While flattery for the most part may seem insincere to others, your mind may be having a different effect to it, subconsciously. This works extremely well with people with high self-esteem for themselves. Flattering them will give them a certain validation or justification on how they feel about themselves. In short, your flattery will be sincere for them. But here's the thing, it has the opposite effect for people with low esteem. They will see your flattery as insincere simply because they themselves don't think of themselves in such a high regard and will easily dismiss anything positive about them. Why do people react this way? Studies have shown that it is due to our minds constantly trying to find the balance between everything. This cognitive balance leads to people trying to keep their thoughts and feelings organized in the same way. The Chameleon Effect What is this so-called chameleon effect? It is what the statement implies. When you're talking to someone and you feel the need to want to influence them more or be just a little bit persuasive in what you want to say or do, it will do you wonders to try and mimic that person. In short, be a chameleon. Adjust to whatever environment you are in. Blend in by mirroring other people's behaviors and mannerisms. People even go as far as mimicking people's speech patterns. We know it sounds ridiculous, but sometimes it's that amount of ridiculous that has huge psychological effects on someone. 
Some research have been well documented on how the chameleon effect invokes positive feelings in a person. Mimicry can actually make people have a more favorable stance on someone that mimics themselves. A while ago with flattery, we talked about validation people felt when they were flattered. It kind of works in the same way as the chameleon effect. When people see other people acting like themselves, it also gives them a sense of validation which results in people seeing the ones mimic them in a positive light. And the astonishing part of the study? People weren't even aware that they were being mimicked. Consciously, they were oblivious to what was happening. But the mind is a powerful tool. So next time you want to influence someone and need something to have a certain edge in doing so, just relax. And remember to simply be a chameleon. The Godfather Offer Anybody who has seen this movie should understand. But for the benefit of those who have not, it's quite simple. Make them an offer they can't refuse. This technique is very effective most especially when it comes to marketing. It's a strategy used by many people and it works like a charm. How does it work exactly? Well, let's strip it down to its basic concepts. Don't bombard someone with a big request initially. Chances are, you'll be a shot down faster than tequila on Cinco de Mayo. Instead, what the Godfather offer teaches us is to work from the ground up. Start small before going big. Start with something really small. So small that the person cannot refuse no matter what because that's how simple it is. But how does someone agree to something bigger in the future? Psychology shows that once a person has agreed to a small request or has committed to helping you in a small way, they are now more likely to help you with something bigger, which is why this method is popular in marketing. It's important to remember that you must wait a day or two before you make a new request, as it is psychologically more effective in doing so. Reflective Listening One of the best ways to influence others is to show them that you are genuine in your efforts. To have the best intentions for someone, to show empathy will lead to people to let themselves be influenced by other people. A great technique for this is reflective listening. Reflective listening is the art of taking what people say, paraphrase it, and say it right back to them. In a study done by Eric Rautakalino for the American Journal of Psychotherapy, it compared patients undergoing psychotherapy and showed the following results. For the therapist who applied reflective listening, patients end up disclosing more personal information and emotion which ended up having a more therapeutic relationship with their doctors as opposed to the patients who did not have reflective listening with their therapists. By using reflective listening, by taking a statement and rephrasing it as a question to confirm you understood it, people will be more comfortable talking to you about things, which means you've successfully used psychology to make them feel more at ease with you. Which was your favorite part? Know of other ways to influence others? Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring on that notification bell so as soon as we drop a new video, you'll be notified. And wait, there's more! Stay on your seats and on this channel, for the next video we'll be playing shortly. And we know for sure you wouldn't want to miss out on what's next. Thank you, YouTubers. See you in a short while. Morongo TV. Motivation, inspiration, fun.